Hey guys, if you're watching this video, I presume that's because you have watched my previous video on how to use the auto attack techniques and want to know more about the skills that will maximize the usage of it. If you don't know about the auto attack technique, then go check out that previous video because whatever that I'm going to say in here will make more sense after you know what the auto attack techniques and how to execu execute it. Otherwise, we'll dive right through it to see what skills will maximize the damage that we can do using the auto attack technique. The first one, use the skill that will increase damage percentage. The example of it would be this skill that will increase the damage to the enemy that's weak to slashing, or this one that will increase the damage to an enemy that have a defense debuff, or the critical damage percentage increase, like this skill over here. And this is the example that is not increasing the damage, but increasing the attack, as well as this skills right here. So it says attack plus 23%. So we'll compare these two skills that increase the damage uh, on the critical damage and the attack that's equal the increasing it by 18%, except that the Shreya skill have uh, additional bonus that will add an 180 additional damage. So first we will use the Yuki skill that have increased the critical damage. We want to make sure that our attack is hitting critical here. So our normal attack is doing around 3700 to 3800 damage. Now if we switch it to using the Straya skill that have 18% attack now and remember this one has an 180 additional damage. So if we do the same thing and compare the damage with the critical it is hitting 4000 to 4100 so it's higher but this is higher because it has 180 additional damage otherwise i think it's supposed to be the same amount of damage now let's go back to using the yuki skill with the 18 percent critical damage and this time i'm going to maximize my uh, damage from the auto attack using the additional damage buff from the windows of bloom kirito that will increase my additional damage based on my hp and now if i use uh, the rush here my normal attack is doing 27 800 to 27 900 damage now we will change the yuki skill with Straya. it has a little less attack compared to when we equip the yuki skills but this one has 180 additional damage on it so we will do the exact same thing we will maximize the damage from the auto attack by using the windows of bloom kirito and then compare the damage output uh, if there is any difference between the two and this will show you guys why i recommend using skill that have a damage percentage as opposed of skill using the attack percentage so as you can see in here i'm turning on the rush again and use the alice skill just like before and now my damage is doing 26,700 and 26,800 ish compared to before that one is doing 27,800 so that is around 1,000 damage different per attack so let's take it to the extreme so this time what we are going to do is I'm going to change to have a two sets one that focuses mainly on the attack just like this one so you have a 23% attack uh, on bleed 23% with the buff and this one has an 8% attack uh, but this skills here will be used for my power rice alice skills that will add another 15% attack I was just trying to find uh, there if there's any better skill to replace this one but I think I'll just stick with the mona skills and as you know the alice skills there is a power rice skill that will add 800 attack stats so this is purely uh, attack base build and if we do the same thing I'm just going to do uh, the inflict bleed on this enemy and then use the uh, critical increase and the windows of bloom that will add the additional damage then we will try to see how much damage we do with our normal attack or the auto attack so let's compare with the critical one so it's critical is doing 12,500 ish damage with this set so i'm going to see how much damage do we do when we are using rush this time but yeah i'm going to inflict the bleed on the enemy again and add the additional damage buff now if i use the rush here i forgot to use the alice skill 
and with the other skills over there now my damage is doing 24,600 to 24,700 or 800 as you can see so with this one we have around 4,337 attack but if we apply the defense buff which will activate the graceful sachi we will have 5,022 uh, attack so it means that it increased almost 700 maybe 600 ish there so with the Renly skills there, we will have around 5,600 attack. So now we're going to switch all the passive to anything that will increase the damage percentage. So I will also replace this uh, Power Rise Alice skills there that will give me 800 attack with skills that will increase damage percentage. So we will have this set uh, right here that will give me a maximum damage percentage uh, increase and this one has to be this asana here that will increase critical damage 25 percent so we have the two critical damage increase and two damage increase skills and i'm just going to use all kirito skill here so that my critical rate is not going to decrease because of that asana skill that i put on the last slots on my passive okay so we'll do the same test we'll first look into our uh, damage without a rush with the additional damage from the windows of bloom and then secondly we will compare it to damage when we are using the rush so without the rush here our auto attack damage is doing 15,800 so this one is actually higher because if you remember before it was only 12,000 something so we have an extra 3,000 even though our attack stats is very low i mean compared to the one that we have before now let's compare the damage with rush and uh, when we are using rush here the damage is twenty five thousand six hundred, which is also higher so now the rush is uh, another topic that we will touch but as you can see even though our attack difference is three thousand points there the sets here is doing more damage than before all right let's go to the point number two Use skill that will give additional damage. A prime example on this is the mismatch silica that give additional damage based on HP. Also this top speeder here, which is the same thing, but it has a different number, so it can stack together. And this Argo skill right here. But there's also skills like this Sinon right here will give additional damage based on attack, or Yu-Gi-Oh that will give additional damage based on defense. But there's also passive skills like this hit cliff here it will also give additional damage based on defense there's also skills like this tc right here that gives 900 additional damage which may not seem as much but the additional damage will get multiplied by the damage percentage so this skills here that give 300 additional damage uh, same as the ugo here will scale quite well then we have this skill that will give additional damage based on level which is unfortunately is not that good because it will get removed when you get hit then we also have this quick flash asuna that give 900 additional damage on a 70 percent chance but if it triggers this will be a very good skills to have these are just a few examples on the skills that you can use but the best one out there will be the trio that is on the axe skills which is the top speeder leva uh, the Bohemian Pains Argo and the Shiner's Koharu, which all of those three will give buff for 30 seconds period, which is the period of the rush, which is why those skills are very popular. On top of that, those skills can stack on top of another will make the additional damage that you get really maximal. Now to number three, the use a skill that increase critical rate. Critical rate is important on auto attack because when our attack hits critical, it already increases the damage by 50%. That in itself is equal to if we have a passive skill that increased the damage by 50%. Some example of skills that will increase our critical rate is this Fishing Boy Kirito that can increase critical rate by 35%, or this Xenon skill that have 25% critical rate when frost when frostbite. Then we have this Iskan skill that will increase the critical rate based on the number of hits. So it can hit 100% critical rate when your hit count is high. Or we have this Agil skill that hits uh, increase 20% of critical rate 
when we use the normal attack and since auto attack is all just using a normal attack so this is also a good skill to use if you don't have any other skill that increase critical rate but the best of all on this one is this tactician argo because this skill increase critical rate based on hp and hp is also an important thing to increase especially if we are using axe skills for our additional damage there are also awakening skills that have an awakening effect that will increase our critical rate so this is also another good one if you don't really have any good skill to increase critical rate on number four use the skill that will increase your flinch resistance so auto attack is focusing on how many number of hits that you can hit on the enemy to increase the dps so if you get flinch a lot by the enemy that will reduce your dps by quite a lot so for that reasons having a skill that will increase our flinch resistance so that we don't get interrupted when we are using this auto attack technique is going to be an important step an example of skills that will increase our flinch resistance is this iskan skill again that have flinch resist 52 percent and also once again the tactician argo that also have a flinch resist 90 percent for 60 seconds this is also the second reason why this tactician argo is the most desirable skills for the auto attack because it gives you critical and flinch resist we also have the shield weapon proficiency skill that will add 30 percent flinch resist when we are equipping shield so this is also a good one to use number five is to use the skill that add element to your normal attack so attacking enemy that weaks to the element will increase the damage by 50 percent so this skill in itself will increase your damage by 50 percent already an example of this skill will be this yuki skill here that will add the holy element to our normal attack and what works even better is that if you have a skill similar to this ally skill here that will add the 25 percent damage to a uh, 25% uh, holy damage to the enemy and similarly if you have any skills that have the skill conversions here like this client skill that will add water elements 23% to the enemy if you have a skill that will convert your normal attack to water element that will work well number six is to use the skill that are awakening skills so awakening skills will add additional damage and hp as you can see on here when we are using the rush so those two are very important aspects on increasing the damage on the auto attack especially if you use the axe weapon as a buff since when we are using auto attack we only use the normal attack it is very important to just put any awakening skills on the active slots if you don't really have any matching awakening skills and the other important part is to use the awakening skill that have critical damage increase because as we explain on number one damage percents is better than having an attack percent so i have 70 percent awakening rate right now and if i replace my passive skills here with some of the awakening skills that i have you will see that my awakening rate will be increasing and this will take a lot of uh, judgment whether you it's worth replacing the skill that will increase damage with the awakening but as you can see there now my awakening rate is 93 percent which means it will get 23 percent more damage than before and 23 percent more hp which also adds additional damage uh, the higher hp we have if, especially if we use the mismatch silica as the buff or top speeder or uh, bohemian pain argo okay so by now you should already have all the informations that you need to build a good auto attack build one final tips if you're using a buff that increase additional damage based on hp adding a passive or an active skills that will increase hp will also help greatly because that basically is adding additional damage to your uh, normal attack so i uh, didn't expect this to be a very long video but if you like this kind of content please leave a like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next seo integral factor content bye now